It's the culmination of an incredible semester of CS50. We've got about 730 students presenting their projects today in about 500 groups or so. I hear there's one project that's going to have some flying drone involved. I have been really impressed with my section in terms of their projects and just their performance overall. They've come a really long way, as with the majority of the students here who have never taken programming courses before. So, Thank you for talking with us, Nate. Is there anything you'd like to say before you go? This is CS50. Excellent. Thank you. Mostly students recognizing the importance of technology in the world today, trying to understand what that means, how they can use it in their own work. As you can see with many of these projects today, they're not about computer science, they're about making things happen in many, many different areas. Have you so. got, had a chance to look at some of the projects? I have. I have my, I only got four stickers at this point, but I'm working on it. Uh, so my project is called STRID. It's a two-player strategy game that's based on a small grid. This actually uses Dark Basic, which is just a variation on Basic that's made for 3D or 2D game programming. If I take this blue piece, all of these blue pieces are going to be converted into red pieces and red wings. I can tell you are not only talented at computer science, you are a great Strid player. So my project is called uh, Play50. It lets you watch your lecture videos at different speeds on my website, play50.net. I created something called the Nap App, or I just called Nap for short which basically p plays music for a set amount of time that helps you fall asleep. Our project is a email service that will basically send you text reminders for important senders that you really want to keep track of. So it's a music playlist management system that leverages social media. This sort of has a draw of bringing together your secondary requirements, your concentration requirements, your gen eds, all together in one place so that you can look at all your courses, put them all together, and try to assemble a four-year plan with all the moving pieces uh, that you're going to need to graduate. I created uh, an iPhone alarm where if you sleep through your alarm, it's going to post embarrassing things to your Facebook. It's a Rails app that uh, allows a user to create a playlist and share it with their friends. <laughs> so we did our project in Rails thinking that, I don't know, it would be easier. <laughs> Unfortunately, what we found was that at Harvard, nobody really knows Rails. So we ended up spent ninety percent of our time learning the language, yeah. um, and you know only like ten percent of the time we got to like actually get into it. The way the class is structured, it really made you get your hands on the coding and everything and learn it. So on our homepage, you can view all the items that are being sold or that people want to buy. So I made this uh, game called Tetris. It's uh, basically a Tetris game, but. Instead of the board moving, instead of the piece moving, the board moves and rotates. There are a lot of great facilities on campus that kids just don't know about. Um, for example, during reading period or when we're all studying for exams, everyone goes, they all flock to like Lamont and Widener, and they don't realize that Harvard has 90 libraries and there might be like so many more closer to their dorm. So you can search um, to find like the closest dining halls to um, the track, like if you're a track athlete, and then you can click on the icons, um, find out more about them, and they'll also have um, a, web, a link to their web page. How much CS did you know before CS50? Absolutely none, so I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. But actually, I've been, I've been in my office all day uh, just watching the live stream, and uh, after six hours of that, I started to worry that maybe, uh, maybe this was all fake. Maybe I was actually watching video from last year. Well, from the year before that. I mean, how could he possibly be streaming live? Yeah. So I had to come here myself. Well, if you're not watching it at the moment, how, how can you be sure? Oh, that's <laughs> true. Uh, I mean, I, I, guess, I, I guess this seems legitimate. Well, I left my machine on, I guess. Maybe somebody will pass by my office. And okay, we'll go, go back a few minutes and double check, yeah. And the other thing is, all the virtual candy just wasn't doing it for me. I mean, I, I tried looking at the screen. I tried all kinds of stuff. It just didn't work. So we uh, were doing this thing where you say, Hello world, I am Henry, or Professor Henry, or whatever you want to go, and this is CS50, so. Hi, signing off, this is Henry Leitner, and this, this is, this, this is CS50. Thank you. We're live here at the end of the CS50 Fair. My name is David Malin. And I'm Jordan Joswiak. So we're about to shut this place down. It's just before 4.30 p.m. We've been here since 11.30 a.m. this morning. Place is still pretty busy, but alas, it's time to strike the set. Yeah, it, it is really sad. It's going to be over. The candy's still here, fortunately, so I'll be here a little bit longer. Um, David, I understand uh, people have been calling this the greatest course ever taught in the history of the world. 
How do you respond to that? We, we just do our best, and we're just glad that everyone stuck it out with us and got here to the finish line. And it's really gratifying to see so many people come out for this. Yeah, it certainly is. Um, any, um, any last things you want to say to students out there who are thinking of maybe taking the course next, next year? Absolutely. We hope to see you uh, in fall 2013. Check us out at cs50.net, where we'll have lots of imagery and videography and footage from today and other events. But besides that, I think it's time to shut us down. All right. Well, thank you very much, David. It's been great talking with you. And I'm so glad I took the course uh, two years ago. It's, it's been wonderful. And then teaching it. Well, it's, it's been, been wonderful it's been having you aboard as a TF. Thanks, David. <laughs> this was CS50. What? More? Oh. My name is David Malin, and this was CS50.